art, the window into someone's soul, putting passion on a paintbrush, and showing stories that only a canvas can show. I like art. I think it's very talented and very pretty to look at. Having been to Italy three times, I've seen many Renaissance era artworks, and I think they're all very impressive. However, something that I do not like and disagree with the fundamental ideas of our modern art. I think first off, modern art is less time consuming and just talent involving than artworks of the past. I think most modern art should not be considered talented and most modern artists are not skillful. Next up, I think the art community on modern art is one of the worst ones. They're very really harsh and toxic and nasty for no reason and they're very egotistical for no real reason. Next up, people who like and buy modern art don't like art at all and they just want to avoid paying taxes. First, I should clarify what I mean when I say modern art is less talented than artworks of the past. I do think modern art still has good artwork. People like Picasso, for example, are what modern art should be, pushing what art can really be classified as and making masterpieces. However, there's very few people who even like to try to be skillful like Picasso. Most modern artists put in the bare minimum or just do funky ideas and say, this is modern art. The reason modern art is so bad is because there's no definition of what modern art is. This causes anyone and everyone to say they're the next modern artist and that their paintings are the best thing ever. This creates a market full of oversaturated, underskillful artists that create junk and think they're better than they really are. Next up, people who thinking they're better than they really are, the art community is very toxic, like I said. The modern art community is first very personal and they take everything as offensively as possible and they don't understand that liking modern art is not a personality trait. <clears throat> like said in Alan Wayne's personal tangent rant in his article, why modern artists are so toxic and the community behind them, he talks about how things like art theory and art form have been used as attack pieces and how criticism is no longer a thing and people just bully. Now, the last people on modern artists, the last people who participate in modern art are the actual buyers, who shockingly don't like modern art at all. Buyers of modern art like one thing, money. And what do they do with modern art? They save money. In her article, Concealed Masterpieces, Alien Szynski, sorry for the pronunciation, she's Russian, she <clears throat> talks about how over 50% of all modern art bought in auctions are done privately or under the table. This anonymous buying and privacy allows people to avoid taxes and decrease their income tax. In his uh, website, Alan L. Olson talks about how lawmakers dislike the practice, but it is perfectly legal for someone to buy modern art to discount their income tax. What this causes is a bunch of rich people to buy junk artwork and then say that, oh, I don't actually make five million, I only make one million. See, I bought four million dollars worth of junk. In conclusion, I do like modern art, I like the idea of it, but I feel it has been corrupted and filled with talentless hags and just greedy businessmen who want to export it. If you want to support modern artists, I support, suggest supporting actual people with passion and not people at the top. People at the top have lost their souls to corporation and greed. In conclusion, modern art has so much potential, but it is wasted, and please don't waste your money on it. You can buy like a Big Mac that has a better deal.